You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Psychic Fraud News. It's the name of the show, and coincidentally, what the show is about. Why won't you take the prize? And, and I don't believe there's a million dollars. There is a million dollars. <laughs> it's with Goldman Sachs in New York in a special account, oh, awardable okay. only for this particular purpose. So oh, don't okay. give me that. Oh. There is no such thing as psychic ability. No, I have not said that, Larry. What I've said is these people claim there is. I don't make any claim one way or the other. I simply say, if there is such a thing, we will pay them a million dollars U.S. Oh. Oh my god, there's another one. The worst kind of psychic. Not merely a minor bullshit artist, but a bullshit artist who goes a step too far. Using spiritual ideas of power, of mind over matter, not merely to fool people out of their money, but to get women out of their clothes. Yeah. A psychic over in Israel who fooled desperate women who had broken up from their partners to give huge amounts of money and to perform sexual acts upon this psychic in order to make psychic spells work and bring back their partner. So a relationship breaks down, a woman's very sad, she turns to a psychic, he claims he can bring her partner back. And how? By performing psychic acts of ritual. Psychic rituals, and to make them work fully, to make sure it's a powerful ritual, you have to have sex in the ritual. Who buys this nonsense? Basically, you have people who are down, depressed, confused, haven't got a strong will or a sense of confidence, perhaps. They're desperate to get back with the one they think they care about more than anything else, and they're willing to pay huge amounts of money. That carries on, it lingers, and then over time they become like cattle. And the psychic can demand all sorts of extremes. All right then, you old battle axe. You may read me my fortune. First, you must cross my palm with silver. Look, I can't cross your palm with silver. I've just had my wallet nicked. You're a fortune teller. You should know that. The danger in magical thinking. You may think it's not there. However, 10 Phoenix 01 made a video about this particular instance. A Chinese gentleman who claimed to be a ghost hunter and an exorcist basically claimed that a woman's vagina was haunted. Then he convinced her to have sex with him. She and he had sex. Her haunted vagina became exercised by his erect penis. Thankfully the woman came to her senses, if incredibly late, the day after, and the Chinese authorities arrested this ghost hunter and exorcist. He is presently being held and hopefully will get a severe sentence and psychiatric help and hopefully people in China and anywhere else in the world will wake up and smell the coffee and realize that people who want to do bad things will use a idea of faith as an excuse to do terrible things whether it's a so-called psychic a ghost hunter an exorcist a medium, a new age guru or whatever. They will use ideas of faith, ideas of devouted belief to make people do what they want them to do, including sexual acts and abuse. My first prediction, I am either gonna fly or ruin that family's picnic. Hey, you've ruined our picnic. Psychic. TV psychics over in Russia being dealt with over their fraud. Finally, the Russians get something right, it would seem. A woman, this is the example, she called up on an advert relating to psychic TV in Russia, and she got harassed in telephone calls calling her 
telling her if she did not pay, family members would die. Yeah. So she paid, and then she paid, and then she paid, and they were meant to lift away a curse. A non-existent curse. A curse which could not exist, which they could not prove, and yet through belief, and then harassment, the woman was fooled out of $20,000 worth of money, worth of rubles. So this is how disgusting psychics can be. And thankfully the authorities in Russia are taking this very seriously as they deal with this case. I certainly hope as time goes on regulation against these psychics in Russia will increase as they have in many other parts of the world, preventing a large amount of fraud and eventually perhaps even ending the fraudulent practices of these psychics. Uh, we have that gift and we treat it with respect. Uh, well, where are these people? That's my question. You see, the James Randi Educational Foundation offers a million dollar oh, prize here we go again, to any of these James. people. Yes, we do go we've again. We've been there. We've been there. Rosemary, you and we I have before. been there. We have. You, that's very true. We have. But why and... won't you take the prize? Danger, danger. High voltage. When we touch. When we kiss. Danger, danger. High voltage. When we touch. When we kiss. When we touch. Danger, danger. the story in and of itself to mm. talk about the real morality that's going on of the people that can do this day in day out and be screwing people out of their life savings